kick my ass. First time bike packing. Come on, solo. Little Poppy's legs are up to it. She's running behind me. I'm gonna have to go slow, I think. Plan to go to the top of this. So I'm using the Engui Engine Pro. Take a little closer look at this later. It's really cool though. A lot of nice features. Beep beep. Let's give us a go. Right, slight change of plan already. Just can't get up here. You can see how rough the grass is, even with that electric power. It takes a little bit of pedaling to get the motor to kick in. So when you're going up a steep slope, um, it doesn't kick in straight away. Now, it's got a throttle on it. So I'm thinking if I play with the settings, you could engage that throttle, um, which would be great just to help you even if you're just pushing it, just to use that throttle, just to get over something lumpy. But what I'm gonna do, head back down onto the path and head over some nice bits in amongst the rocks there. So I'll... Nope, for next time, avoid gates and fences. Bloody hell. Probably about 40 kilos. Don't be lifting that above your head. Right, so far we've done four kilometers. Feels like a lot more because uh, I've rejected two camping spots so far. And now we've got to go up the incline. Right, they've chosen a quarry. They get a bit of a pedal on for our incline, mind. I know it'd be a lot harder with, uh, without the motor. But, um, it's probably 100 kilos of weight on that with me and my stuff. I'll be making sure the perimeter is safe. Just checking it out. The lineup. A little pot noodle. I've decanted a macaroni and cheese into there. Some snacks, chorizo and gouda. Mm. Spicy pepperami. Oh, look at this now. Oh, look at this pot. <laughs> well, that one's not, that one's for you. Yeah, um, didn't quite have enough for the free postage on Amazon. 24 Yorkies, £10.80. Recommend. I had to buy a new titanium sport because I lost it. It's probably down beach somewhere if you want to go find that. Be your lineup. Aldi specials. So I got watermelon. I got, well, that's obviously an Elvis juice, isn't it? In disguise. A strong Belgian. Tropical IPA and Hazy Jane. Will I go through them all? What do you think? Probably. One thing I was a bit worried about is uh, old thirsty pants here. I've only brought a litre of water. There is a little bit of fresh water here in the quarry, luckily. Stunning spot. Quarry to myself. She's keeping herself occupied. This is my setup. Car windscreen protector I just found in Aldi. 250. Same time I bought my brew dogs. I'm going old school. I got the uh, only MP3 player. Right, boiling the bag job. Water will be fine for that. Oh, she's going at it again. She loves it. Good quality, Alice, yeah, mate. Mac and cheese is done. Oi, oi. This girl has not run out of energy at all. Ah, oh, my MP3 player is not good. It's knackered. Battery's gone. I fully charged it. I don't know what's going on. 
Oh, all right, man. Look at that now. Look at the destruction. I used to ha hate mac and cheese, but I really love it at the moment, as I do mm. My taste buds must have changed or something. For anyone wanting to replicate this, this is called a Mylar bag. You can use it to boil in the bag, like I just did. Um, good tip, get a canned meal. Just decant it before. Saves you the weight of the tin. And then obviously it's no mess. You can reuse them. You can wash them out. Um, no. The other option is make a meal, put it in there, put it in the freezer, and then it's ready for you for later on. So I've just used this water I collected from the quarry there. I would totally drink this now because I've used it for a boil in the bag. That's boiled. That is now safe. Just started raining now, so we've retired back to the tent. Cool thing about a folding bike, fits inside, easy. There you go, there's a bike, staying nice and dry. There's Poppy staying nice and dry. We're going back out, yeah. She won't be out for long, she hates the rain. I'm gonna share with you the best find in a long time. This is called the Trimway Smart Pro. It is fantastic. All your old consoles on one device. I had this for about 60 quid on AliExpress. Now, the price does go up and down. Now, it comes with a ton of games. You are supposed to own all the games. Now, it's lucky I own a lot of PSP games. So, let's have a look on here what we've got. Insane. Let's find a classic. Here we go. Tekken 5. Plays it absolutely perfectly. So you've got the uh, left and right buttons. You've even got a microphone. I don't know what this is for yet. I'll put the link below if you're interested in this. Blinking brilliant, that's all I can say. Orang is my boy. Kick me ass. So I'm moving on to the pretty pretty chicken pot noodle. The tripod is mainly there to Put on to keep the music going. The rain is in. Poppy's happy at last. Look at that face. Look at that contented face. Let me see that chops. Whoa. Drunk thoughts from bedtime. I had a good time getting up beyond the bike. A little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. I've had a strange few years, i got to be honest. You know, I've woken up and realised this bike in the tent. There's still tons of room in here, even with all this rubbish I've chucked everywhere. I was worried I wouldn't be able to move. You've woken up in the clouds. Morning. Not as fresh as I sound. <laughs> a bit of a one-man party. Yeah. Been raining through the night. Um, I'm not worried about getting back. 
it's just all downhill. It's just uh, this girl I'm gonna have to go a little bit slow for. She'll get to me in the end, won't she? <laughs> nah, just take it slow so she can keep up with me. So, it's not actually my first time bike pack, and I have done this once before. I went on a cycle cross bike with a huge rucksack on my back along the uh, cliff paths from Manabia. Had a lot of funny looks doing that. I've already ripped my bag because I forgot how wide it was, so it's, it's come across a rock it has. Look at this monster. Wow, he's massive. Uh, rain's not too bad, so we'll have a quick look at the bike. So we got fat tires, great for off-roading. They're 20 inch, four inches wide. Suspension's not amazing. It's better to have it than not. But I did find it was a little bit, you know, bouncy, if anything. Um, seems really well constructed. Hydraulic brakes is amazing for the price bracket all folds down flat as you've seen clips here seem pretty solid another one there it's just those two not very keen on these i suppose it you know stops it bumping into things if you're getting in and out of the boot or something but for riding i don't know i'd prefer normal ones i think gears they come uh really well configured straight out of the box so i haven't had to mess about with them at all they shift really nice another brand i'm not aware of but i think the back one is a little bit better than the front one feels nice and smooth that does the key needs to be left in I haven't felt the problem with it, but you need to use this to get the battery out and also turn it one more time to turn it on. Rack is nice and solid. It's a very tall thing. Um, you're in a nice upright seat in position. Be good for taller riders as well. So you can just adjust it as high as you want. Normally I've got to adjust these things, you know, way up because see it's on number five that goes right the way to one obviously yeah it's, it's a good thing what am i taking out on some more adventures actually i love the display on this uh, it gives loads of different options so you can change it from eco normal and sport and it goes zero which is no electric at all up to five I want to work out how to get this throttle to come on. They've got headlights come on and off. They're automatic actually. So if it was daylight, that'll just turn itself off. Save electric. Um, the battery is regenerative as well. So when you go in slow speeds, it's recharging the battery. And it's actually still showing 100%. Which is crazy. Alright, let's get back down this hill, I think. Right, there we go. Left it as I found it. You wanna go for a walk? Yeah? How's them legs feeling? <laughs> I'll take this slow. Right, back in the car. Final thoughts on the bike. Really enjoyed it. I wish I could have ridden a bit further. It's still showing full battery. I've only done about six kilometers, I think. Uh, I didn't want to go too far with Poppy chasing me. A little bit confused on the website. It says a thousand watts, and then you look at the specs, it says 750. So I'm not sure which one it is, but it's the quickest one I've had. It feels really powerful. You still need to pedal quite a bit to get up steep hills. And it takes two pedal turns for the motor to kick in. So if you've stopped, 
it can be a bit hard to get it going, especially when you've got over 100 kilos on the bike, like I had. Link is below, as always. Go and check it out if you're interested. All right, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Shout out again. <laughs> what the f***? Thank <laughs> you.